I'm out on another walk, this time in central London. In fact, I'm in Hyde Park, but it's not the park that I've come to see on this very cold winter's day. It's this big mound of earth behind it. It is called the Marble Arch Mound, and it was opened in the summer of 2021. It was allegedly it's due to cost three million, but it ended up costing six million pound. Now, when it first opened, there was a charge of six pound to go up. It was then reduced to three. But I found out that today it's free. And the reason why it's free is because in two days, the whole thing is going to be dismantled and thrown away. That's London for you. Right, let's uh, go up and have a look at the views. Let's see if they're as spectacular as what they've been building. I must say, it doesn't feel at all safe coming up these steps. <laughs> they feel rather bouncy. Now, I'm not good with heights, but I thought I would be okay on this. But these feel as if they could give way. Well, that's the first view anyway. Over to the park there. Nice view of the traffic, if that's what you want, but let's go up higher on the bouncy steps. This is worse than being on a pier with the sea going underneath. I'm going to try and look forward rather than looking down, as you can see the gaps. Oh, oh there's a there's a danger sign there. I can understand. Oh, I think my IKEA bed is a bit more uh, fixed together than this. Look up. That's another view. I think the platforms are actually worse because they bounce more. People go past you. Is there a lift to go down? Something that I hadn't accounted for is the fact that it's getting windier and windier higher up you go which is obvious but look at that gap down there Oof. nearly there here we go oh there is a lift oh, I must say this is not what I expected look at that view down Oxford Street Build as the nation's high street. Apparently, in the surrounding area, there are 38,000 residents and 155,000 people are employed in this area. There's Marble Arch. It's been there since about 1850. Not a very good view, though. From here, I've just spoken to somebody else and he said that he was concerned about the bouncing as well. I don't think I'll be up for much longer. But across there, you can see the London Eye there and the Shard. There we 
go. Bouncy bounce. Let's have a look at the other view. Ah, this is Park Lane. I hope you appreciate the stress I'm putting myself through just to bring you a video. <laughs> this is Park Lane, originally known as Tyburn Lane in the 16th century. Speaker's Corner down there. flowers are quite nice. I think it just needs a long time for it to settle in and maybe after a year or two it would look a lot better. But now that I've come here I am starting to think it's a waste of money. They haven't even bothered to decorate the Christmas tree. <laughs> It's absolutely freezing and I'm going to attempt to walk down right into the bones of it. Just don't look down, don't look down. Let me just show you without me looking down. Oh. Look at that. So far, it's okay going down as long as you look forward and go at quite a speed. The problem is when people pass you, the entire thing shakes. <laughs> oh, I think I don't think about this too long, Sean. Just get on with it. Feel the bounce. <laughs> there we go. Once in a lifetime this is because it's been dismantled in two days because it originally cost six pounds to come up and then because nobody came they reduced it to three and today it's free. Oh, it's the fact that you can see through it is just throwing me. If they were solid steps I think I'd be okay. Seems to be getting worse now that I'm, I'm getting closer to the ground. Oh, it's shaking. <laughs> Things I do for a video. You better go and uh, support me for doing this. Go to seanjamescampman.com forward slash supporters and give me some uh, give me some pound coins for putting myself through all this for a video. Oh, look, there's another sign. Danger. <laughs> is just before I go down the bottom this is what's inside all this apparently cost six million I find that if you walk with a bit of a bounce yourself it sort of cancels itself out maybe that or I'm just getting delirious now here we go bounce along bounce bounce <laughs> There we go, we're finally down the bottom. Mind the step. Oh, what's in here now? Let's have a look what's in here.
Well, as I leave Speaker's Corner, Marble Arch and the Marble Mound, it's time to go home. Well, I'm certainly glad that I've been up the Marble Mound while it was there. It would have been a lot better in the summer, I think. I can see what they were trying to get at, what the aim of the place is. But the problem is, when you're dealing with flowers, they've got to be perfect. So there were sedums there and corn flowers. And I can see what they were trying to get. And I think if the flowers had been mature, then the thing might have worked. Also, if the floor didn't bounce as well. But this is what happens when you are in London. Things happen that you think are a bit off, th off the scale and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't work. And like I said, I think that would have worked if it had been a bit, well, a, a bit taller, because I didn't really see much other than the top of uh, the buildings. And who wants to see that? Not when you've got things like the London Eye where you get a really good view and the London Eye was the first place that I ever did my first job when I came to London. I was filming with Mariella Fostrop and we were in the London Eye doing a bit of filming. So maybe I'll take you back there. Well, that's quite expensive, that is. Uh, I think even if I'd paid £3, I would have felt cheated by going up there. But at least I've been. I can say that I've been. And when it disappears, I can say, do you remember when they put that big pile of... Uh, scaffold in, in the middle of central London. So I'm in Hyde Park. I don't think I must have been in Hyde Park before now but nothing rings a bell because when you live in London you, te you tend just to walk through these places really quickly because you well I do anyway I tend to only come into London if it's a job related project. I don't really come in for uh, socializing because it's just really expensive but uh, it's interesting to be back first time in 2022 and especially as the pa the pandemic I think it's still on I'm not entirely sure I'm a bit confused by what's happening or what is not happening but it feels nice to be here when it's uh, quiet but I think I might find a little cafe. Now, I remember on an old black and white film that there was a, uh, the Lion Cafe was by a Marble Arch. I wonder if that's still here. I don't particularly want to walk around the entire thing just to find a cup of tea. It seems to be a fair. I do find these fairs, when I lived in Hearn Hill, I lived next door to Brockwell Park and they had a fair there every bank holiday. And it just got annoying because you never had a had an opportunity to uh, enjoy the park on your day off because every time you went there there was a bloody fairground well that's something I haven't seen before a duck in a tree well, I'll be out and about very soon, hopefully on a much warmer day. If you'd like to support me, it is seanjimscameron.com forward slash supporters. Pop along to there and drop me a few pennies, help me to get out and about and go further afield. I'm going to go and find a cup of tea now because it is very cold. So from me until next time, bye for now. Right, MQ is gone now. Oh no, there it is.